Hello and welcome everybody to yet another exciting episode of Carlin Brothers Box Breakers, which we like to call it CB Cubed. Week two of the final month of Paradox Rift. Man, last episode was crazy. We saw Carly storm ahead of Ariel Stormmore to take the lead with 101 points. 102, I believe. No, 101, 101 mm -hmm. points. Yeah, 101 Dalmatians. Yeah. Yep, okay, easy way to remember. Easy way to remember. Yeah, so Carly, uh, who has historically also, uh, I think, been a season winner, currently sitting atop with an absolutely commanding lead. I know, Code um, would be looking at our first repeat champion. I know, that'd be so wild, so unexpected. Like, we can't stress it enough. Like it's so random, it but, is, like, like, but somehow, some way, things seem to keep might happening. Be possible. Uh, currently, also in eighth place overall with 33 points, we have Marcos. Um, I'm looking at the Big Steve Award is Andriana, who currently always oh, tied. Actually, I'm sorry with Big Steve. So instead, we would have to go up to our 20 point John Munyon. Oh man! Um, but there are a few people currently at that 20 point marker, so we'll have to see how the Lauren rest of B. those shake out. Yeah, absolutely. Lauren B. also has yeah. has the 20 points. So uh, lots lots of kind of interesting moving parts. The last Last place award has been really fascinating this season because nobody was able to get back-to-back -back one point packs. Right, yeah. So without any further ado, let's dive on in. As ever, let's take a quick look at the rules. Jay and I will be opening a booster pack from the latest collection. Any rare cards, cards that feature a star, score points. Scoring is very simple. We head on over to the current price list on TCG Player and determine your rare card or card's value. That value is rounded up to the nearest whole number. But the fun doesn't stop there. Each week, we'll also spin the wheel of energy to determine this episode's type advantage. If the energy in your pack matches the type advantage, then your entire pack gets a two times multiplier. And you get an additional point for each mon of that type in in your pack. Lastly, there are also three randomly chosen common chase cards that are worth one additional point each. So if your energy card matches the type advantage, you pull two randomly chosen common chase cards and your rare card is worth $3.75, that will be rounded up to four plus two points for the common chase cards gives you six points times two for the energy and your final score is 12. And now as ever, it is time for the Wheel of Energy. Jay, would you do the honors? I will do the honors. Ba -ba 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 bam what could it be? It seemed like eyeball energy was big last week. Could uh, it be? Uh, 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 it's going to be metal energy. Metal energy. Right, okay. So I don't need to, right. there's no metal Eevee back there, so I don't need to worry about that. Okay, all right. I'll let I'll crack, crack on open. in. Yep, while we do that, I'll tell you about today's randomly chosen common chase cards, which are going to be Crobat, Natu, and Onyx. Is not Does Natu evolve into Zatu? Yes. Oh. Zatu. That tracks, that tracks. Is it a direct evolution, or is there a middle one that also nope. has an Atu? That's it. Okay. Just one okay. to one. One to one ratio. Bam. All right, there we go. Well, without any further ado, let's go ahead and dive on in with pack number one. Oh man, today's first contestant is going to be Omega. Omega? Who has Omega won? I think um, so. I think they won like the very first season, or at least season two, maybe. They yeah. had 58 points way back when. 58 points. Okay, so Omega is certainly a force to be reckoned with. Carly, if anybody you know is going to take shots, I guess you're looking at former champs at this point in time. I know. Well, I, I think I, don't, I can't even confirm if she won season six. I know she had the eight times multiplier. She did. Yeah. She so, did. Okay. So yeah. I, I, yeah, okay, let's see here. So we've got the Parasol Lady, the Porygon 2, the Octillery, the Golbat, nope. not the Crobat, the Tatsugiri, the Earth and Vessel. The score. That'll get you two, the Medical Energy, the Brute Bonnet. Bonnet score. Will score, yep, absolutely. The Cycles are will not, and then we'll close out with the Steelix, Steelix which is worth two. Yes, so one, two, three, four, five. Bam. So five points. So for 10 on the season for Omega. So not on the leaderboard this time. Carly, stay safe. There we go. We've got the highly useful Earth and Vessel heading your way. Congrats on that so front. We still have not pulled the illustrator art, um, whatchamabut, uh, Roaring Moon. Roaring Moon. Yeah. That's the big one. That's, That's the one that can do it. Do we know what, what card number that is off chance? I'm just curious because I know it's that it's got to be near the back. Yeah, for the longest period of time, there was still the ability for one card to basically change the whole game. Um, and I don't know whether or not we're still in that category or not. Roaring yeah, Moon. okay, so oh, Roaring wow. Moon is yeah, worth... it would. It literally, Roaring Moon by itself is worth 101 points. Dang! So if somebody pulls it, it is amazing that... Because anybody who at this stage is playing has at least one point, unless yeah. it's a rookie. Unless it's a... Oh my gosh, can you, you imagine, imagine if there was a rookie and they pulled it? That's crazy. I do think there are some rookies in today's field. Uh, oh, well, actually, I don't know. Never mind. I don't know how many rookies there are. Okay. We're just gonna have to see them as they come. Next up, then we have Tina Dodge. Tina Dodge. Let's see. 
Man, if we pull that one in, it's a 101 point tie. That'd be hilarious. It's, I mean, it's like you can't write up these storylines. Like, it's amazing. What are the odds? There's the eyeball energy. Not that that matters. We're looking for metal energy today. Onyx, Tinka Tink, Shark Well, the Onyx Absolutely. will. Oh, you're it's right. It's a random chosen common chase card. And the Crobat will score. The Rourke, the Zatu. Zatu. There you go. Okay, hey. yep. The Wimpod and the Espathra. Oh, well, sorry, the Zatu does score. Yes, it does indeed. Yep, the Espathra so as well. So it's going to be a four point pack there to bring Tina's score to 17 on the season. Okay, okay, so well done on the 17, Tina Dodge. That's absolutely a commendable game, very something to be proud of. Very close to Big Siva War, but not quite gonna make it there. All right, next up we have Mott. Mott. Now Mott is in an, I would have said it was in a pretty interesting spot. They're in sixth place overall with 37 points. So they're looking pretty good, but like if anyone could strike with a big card without getting something massive, I guess this is a spot, but still, you, the thing is, even for Mott's to get to like 101 points, his pack will have to be bigger than second place's card. You yeah, I mean, yeah, like yeah. it has to be huge. It's so. gonna have to go. You got to go, go big or go home. So something we'll black is gonna have to have Pharisee score. Pharisee will score. Yep, the Guyball, the Panpour, the Vanillux, the Defiance Vest, the Durant, Durant, Durant will score. score. The Slithering will not. Slitherwing, rather. I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, the Phoebus will not, and the Ting Lu Ting will Lu score will. just That's a single point. Be. So three points for Mots, who actually had 37, I think, instead of 36. Uh, so we'll close out with 40 and yep. tie uh, with Kyle, who was our our uh, rookie phenom, who got 40 points on a single pack. Mm, is Kyle in today's field? Don't know, don't know. All right, next up we've got Leroy, who's coming into the day with six points. How are they going to do? Their first, though, this is, uh, well, they've been around for a while, Pokemon card-wise. Their first deck was Machamp and Base Set. Man, I had the, that was my exact same first set. Wow. The, the first edition. Very cool. Longer, but then it says their next one was Paul gave e star so they took a big break. A little bit of a pause. Yeah, yeah, to the future. Yeah. <laughs> Gimme gold, Pearl Orange, Scream Tail, so many eyeball and dark. This I is know, like, yeah. This, this keeps an... happening, this like purple black, purple black. I know, yeah. It's like, what is the, what's happening on the assemble, assembly line? I know, right? The Orbital does not score. And the Aegis Slash will, will get, actually be two points. Extra, yeah. Dang. Double check for just, I think we pulled this one possibly last episode. I think we did. Uh, yes, we did. 58 cents. We'll round up to one. But it's point. a metal Pokemon. So it'll be worth two. It's worth two. So there you go. Got two points for Lee Roy to finish the season with eight points. Let me write down your total. So we have that there for posterity. For posterity. We gotta be keeping the keeping the data. I love how we have all this data and we're like, I'm pretty sure Carly won season six. I know, yeah, yeah. yeah that's Who like, was no. the winner? We got, that's we not have, the data we need. We need we need a, like a leaderboard overall somewhere yeah. in the other room. We got some we got some space to do it, so we'll work on that for you guys in the future. All right, next up we have Rab Rangoon. Rab Rangoon. Coming in with seven points on the day, so maybe looking, what are we looking for? 20 points, right? 20 points even for Big C? Yeah, 20 points even. I think yeah. I think Lauren B is the person who currently has the best stake on it, unless, because there's, there's two other people that currently I think have 20 points, but they might still have a pack left to open. Mm. So Lauren B might might be sitting there alone. We got the Rock is pummeling. Would have been good last week, but not this week. But Larry, the Yemass, the Surskit, the Whimsor, the Iron Bundle, the Gliscor, the Future Booster Energy Capsule, the Yemass oh, against hit. the Critical Hit, which could do something. That's the Grudon will score. Yep. And oh, the Wind Moon. Moon! Okay, that is, I mean, that probably is worth some points because yes. it is like the sort of the mascot card of the set. Indeed it is, 1778, so 18. For the base card? Yes, yeah, so 18 points for that one. And 19, then 19 and times, then times two is 38 points? 38 points. Whoa, for Rab, for Rab Rangoon. Rangoon. 38 the points, gonna bring you up to 45 on the season. 45 on the season, which now I believe will move Doe into the quality eighth place position. Oh, that's hilarious. How about that? So Rab Rangoon's win is actually more of a win for, for Discord mod Doe at the moment that's, if the season ended right now. That's one. There you go. So the Roaring Moon, even just the base. So this is the, uh, there's the illustrator of this card is worth the 101 points. Okay. So okay. That's what we're looking for. So we're going to see, we're going to see whether or not like this box was like, <coughs> hey, this is a Roaring Moon box. Gosh, you, you know, know Carly's just holding her breath.
breath like no one pulled. Nobody, nobody could possibly. Pulling. Nobody could possibly. Because Carly is done pulling cards. Carly is done. Yep. All all in, all out. So she we'll see. Up next we got anymore. Kitten Ninja. Kitten Ninja who has nine points on the on the pack. But this is the thing, everyone's got at least one. So if anyone pulls it, it'll pull them ahead of Carly. I know, I know. Yeah, it's, it's unbelievable that it comes there's down to such fine margins. I know, like I, the, Look, the door there's is your, open. There's your thing again. The, oh wow, you're purple, right. Black, purple. purple, black, purple. What is going on? Wiglet, Steeny, Semipore, Zub, Striker, the Ting Lu will score, the Champau will score, and the Glycopod will score. So, so. that's a little flurry of points at the end there yeah, for three, three points, four, 15 on the season. This would have been a decent pack if it was a water type advantage. Oh my gosh, right. Gotten, yeah, so one, two, three, three four, four, it would have been five, eight. Five, six. Yeah, 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 you're right, yep, yep. So 12 even. Um, well, there we go, but either which way, it's not water type this week. It's not. Bam! Next up we have Mistevios! Mistevios. Who we met at GoFest this year. We did meet at GoFest earlier this year, or last year at this point. Uh, last wow, year so weird right, to say. Well, now it says last year, but I think when this was written, that would have been like, uh huh, nope, actually last year, but now it's last year again, so. It's come, it's come full circle. Come full circle, there we go. All right, so we got the metal type energy, we got the Blitzel. Oh, so it is a multiplier. Oh, I'm sorry, it is a multiplier, thank you, yeah. yep. Um, we got the Boon Suite, the Phoebus, the Apom, the Technical Machine Turbo Energizer, the Wug Trio, the Techno Radar. Opponent scores. That will score, yep. Oh, oh look at that tulip! tulip. That's oh, like wow. an illustrator tulip. Ooh, boy. That's a pretty That could be good card. in on the multiplier. I know, yeah, so let's see what that does for us in the Volcanion to close out. This could mess up like the top of the leaderboard and like an eight. This might knock Doe down if the tulip is worth enough. It could be, let's see here, number 259 on the set. Oh man, tulip comes in at 1999. Whoa! So so 20, 20 points. 21, 22, 44 points? 44 points. Whoa! Yeah, yeah, yep, yep, yep. So, so sure enough, it's going to bring it up to 47 point total. Oh my gosh, so in third place overall, and now Mots. Mots is in eighth place. In eighth oh place no, overall. Doe has been knocked down. Dang, Doe got to hold it for such a brief period of time. But interestingly, Doe has another pack, so she could squeak back in. Wait, does? Oh, you're right. You're yeah, right. that's oh, hilarious. Wow. Oh man. Okay, so the the oh, drama right. continues. Mots and Doe battling it out for eighth place right now. But Tulip for Mistevios. What a great pull. Great and on the pull. multiplier. Oh my gosh, that's that's just amazing. Man. Very impressive and a really pretty card. So enjoy that one, Mistevios. Who are we rooting for to get down into a uh, blue sweep? Blue sweep. We were saying yeah. for eighth place because that would have meant we pulled so many crazy cards. Yes, yes, indeed. All right. Well, next up is Haley and Colin. They have got. I think, did I just? I can't even remember. Um, they've got three points coming in. Okay. So. Oh wow. Okay. So yeah. they. I mean, this is one we haven't been able to talk much about this year lately. But there, I suppose, is some small potential that this could be a last place contender at the moment. I like, guess so. Yeah. You might be looking for a yeah. low score. I think impact. we're looking at a four point. Last placer. Yeah, last yeah. place total. Yep, so let's see that. We've got the Flamigo, the Porygon, the Seedra, the Magby mm -hmm. doing good so far, the Simi Sage. Double checking my my randomly chosen commons there. I feel like we haven't seen many of them yet. The Norman, the Cyclozar, the Spinda will not score, the Panpour will not score, and the, the Zatu! Zatu! There's only one. Okay, that's so actually, one point. That could be pretty good. What is the Zatu worth there? Yes, let me grab that piece of information, save us Just a little so bit of work have, yeah. in the future. So number 72 on the set is only going to be, well, 19 cents, so okay. not, not good, not bad. But, um, but four points is probably what you need for last place anyway, so. There we go, there okay. You go. We'll keep an eye on all of that. Next up, we've got Aaron B. Aaron B. All right, they've got eight points on the season thus far. Here the the Nuzlocke got the them Nuzlocke. back into Pokemon. The Nuz, man, man I, I have actually been feeling a tiny little itch to, to, to play some Mon. Oh, have you? Some Mon. You're yeah, going to play some yeah. Mon? That'd Possibly be amazing. So. Well, now you've said it out loud. So. I know, I know. Now, now a little bit of a soft <laughs> commitment out to the world. What have you done? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There's the, the Dark Tide, the Bandrew, the Pharisee the score. scores, the Gaibel, Panpour. There's the Boring the, Tulip. Yep. Croc Lord, Dondozo, Dotler, Char Cadet, and Latio. So just a two point pack, it looks like. I there. believe so, yeah, yep, yeah. It'll be 10 on the season for Aaron B. There we go. Would you play a Nuzlocke? I think I would do a Nuzlocke, yeah. I might need some help for like block. you from over my shoulder to get me through yeah. the. Uh, what, what is it? What is it? Like Victory Road? Oh, I could do it. Yeah, I could, yeah. I could use some some help getting through no there. No doubt. Yeah. No doubt. All right. Next up, we have Abby. Abby. Who has got eleven points. Eleven points for Abby. Okay. Coming in here. 
All right, Miss Abby, let's see what we can do. We got the lightning bolt energy for you, the Galvantula, the Mantike, the Pansage, the Minin. Minin. Yeah, no, definitely Look a very this. like, Look at the yeah, just like a very electrical <coughs> form. Yeah. Uh, the Steeny, the Absol, the Countercatcher, the Tulip again showing up as a reverse hollow, the Chantal, oh. and the Groudon. So just, just a single point. For 12 on the season for Abby. There we go. Well done, well done. All right, let's see. Next up, we have got Chase. Chase. Oh man, so Doe Sun. Doe Sun. So how is Chase doing overall? Doe or right, Chase has got 10 points overall. Okay. So, far. so looking for it to maybe double that. That if this can be a 10 point pack for Chase, then you'd have a situation where both where both Doe and Chase could be in the chase for winning elite yeah, trainer boxes. That's true. That'd be that'd be wild. That would okay. be wild. Let's see. Although Barry, yeah, yeah. Let's just see how we get the Rocket okay. Public. So nothing there. The Jirachi will score. Okay. The Naklid, the Parasol. Porygon, Luxurious, and Bipom. Last week would have been good. Oh, critical hit on the yep, Parasol, lady. There we go. Oh, oh, and the Parathorn, which is actually going to be metal as well. We didn't already pull one, did we? Nope. And the Garnacle. Okay, okay, so okay. here we so go. We got something. We got something to work that's worth that's looking a cool at for sure. Yes, indeed. So $3.19. So that'll be four. Uh, ben. Five with the... Oh my gosh, is it there? It, well, this is four. Okay, I'm sorry. Let me do it. Sorry. Check. Three dollars and nineteen cents will round so up to four. Four plus one extra for being metal, which is five, and then six, seven times two is fourteen points. Actually. Yes. So they they got fourteen, but they might have overshot it because now they're at twenty-four. Twenty-four overall. Over. Yeah, I think that's gonna that's probably gonna take you too far upwards. Oh man. Uh, well, unfortunately, but still, I mean, it's an amazing, it's a great pull. Yes. So either which way, enjoy the card. Yes. That's that's a win in and of itself. Nicely done, nicely done. Ferrothorn coming your way. All right, next up we've got Anselman. Anselman. Am Anselman, who is doing pretty good. They got 28 points on the season. Yeah, you're up. Okay, so 28 points They're can kind 13. of do some interesting stuff yeah. to the to the top eight. Yeah, because what um, are we looking for for top eight? Like 33 points? Yeah, so Mots is currently holding it with 37, I believe. Um, so you would need to clear 37 points to, to shake it down yeah. even more. Uh, where Kyle would be up next, and Blue Sweet is slowly wow, working, their, working way their way back into way the conversation, just like we were saying. So let's see if it happens. Uh, we've got the, the Salad Energy to kick things off, the Vanillite, the Oracoria, the Swablu, the Pansy, the Toad Scroll, the Slitherwing. Nothing so far, right? Not missing nope. any technical machine. De evolution. Yep. De uh, the Geibel will not score. The Zubat will, will not, not score. score. And, and the Iron, iron Jugulus, so. which, despite having iron, is not a metal Pokemon. Ah, totally disfortunate. So just one point there. Sadly, going to bring them to 29 on the season. 29, tying it out with Jackie and Dakota and Nixie Claw. So, a bunch of our patrons all hanging out in that same little 29 club there. That's yeah. Right. All right. Next up, we've got Andy. Andy. Andy, who has got nine points. Uh, thus far, so looking for maybe an 11 point pack here. Let's see if we can make it happen for him. I, I love once we're into the, the third month where yeah. everything has got everything, six awesome. I know. It's like, like anything can something. do it. Yeah, let's see Blitzall, Boon Sweet, Phoebus, Apom, Chantal, Garbodor, Evolution, Joltik, Manchow, Brute Body. Oh, wow, man, just a one point sort of a bust of a pack there. Oh, yeah, 10 on the season. You hate to see it there for Andy, but that is the way it goes sometimes. Still kind of a neat card. I like the effect that they go for with the Ancient, where you kind of get like a little bit of like yeah. a stone swirl mixed mm -hmm. in. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. Very cool, very cool indeed. I like that. All right, let's see. Next up, we have got Braun. Braun. Braun, who has got four points on the season after back-to-back uh, -back two point packs. Back-to-back -back two point packs. Let's see how consistent are they? Are they gonna get a third two point pack? Let's find out. All right, so we got the got the fireball energy there. We got the snow runt, the knackle stack, the plusle, the dotler, the masquerade, the ancient booster energy capsule, Professor Turo's scenario, the iron bundle will not score, the not to will, will score, score yeah. as will the zation. Zation, zation gets two points. Two points, so three so. points total on the pack overall. Good catch. I was gonna miss that time. Wow, geez, dude. Yeah, so three points there. So Braun finishing strong after a two. I know, uh, two, 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 three. Two, two, three. Are you shadow loop? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I'm not that. writing it in your cards, though. <laughs> special right. occasions. Uh, special occasions, you know. All right, uh, next up, we have got Faith. Will will she have it here will in she her have pack? It? She's got 11 points, so just needs nine points to try and land for Big Steve. 
Let's see, or obviously, you know, pull the pull the roaring moon, get, get crazy, go Faith, huge. Faith says you used to watch the, the Oh, here we oh, go, there, there double, it is. Two times multiply. Man, oh man, can you imagine if someone multiplied the- The roaring, the moon? roaring oh moon? Oh my gosh, I don't even know if it would be our highest score ever though, at like 200 202 points, yeah, yeah. I don't know, you're right. Tinker Tongue, yeah, Mass Tatsugur, Earth, the Earth and Vessel, vessel yeah. The Vanillish will not, the Toad School will not, the oh, Pokey will man. man. Yeah, hate when someone gets the multiplier and then just sort of like whiffs on it. I know, so five points overall. So what, one, two, three? Oh no, times I'm sorry, two, times two, six. six. Yep, yeah. my bad. I was I was multiplying the Earth and Vessel and not the Palkia for some reason in my head. It's like, oh, a four point Earth and Vessel, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so yeah, so six points overall. Six points three. overall. Six points on the day, 17 points so, overall. Yeah, there we go, yep. Almost got there to the Big Steve Award. Next up is Mbug. 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 All right, they've got 10 points, so looking for another 10 points. Okay, let's see. At least. To make it interesting. Bam. All right, we got the Eyeball Energy. We, go. we got the Nicket, the Gligar, the Blipbug, the Fuecoco, the Explow, the Mila, the Minior, the Pan Sage will not score, the Technical Machine D Evolution will not score. Oh, oh, the Chantal! That seems like it could be a, a decent one. It does, but will it be worth 10? Let's that see. That is the question. That is what we're aiming for here. Number 243. Oh, unfortunately not. $3.22. Ah, uh, so it is four points, four which points. is going to bring them to 14 on the season, but at least they get the Chantal card. That's full art action for you there. That's well right. done, Embug. Yeah. We're going to finish the season strong. Next up, we've got Tix. Tix. Tix is coming in with two point pack back to backs. For four, so we, we've seen our, our our other two point back to backers have ended with three points. Yeah, you know, so we're gonna see if it's a trend. Yeah, let's see. Can we get to three? Will it, will will this be it, or will we break the trend? Will we go huge? Pansage, Vanti, Gabide, and mine, and Durant will score. The Slitherwing will the not. Ferrothorn will, Thorn will score. score. Now, nah, oh mm, no no okay. Uh, oh man, a critical hit. And the Avelts all. So let's say I have a critical out of the Mantike. That's going to be one, two, three times two is six. Six points. Wow. We okay. Do. Well done. We broke the trend. So in crush, crushing expectations with wow. that Avelts all. Well done. Very powerful. There you go. I think in our last in our last episode we ended on the on a one point Avelts all. So you got a six point Avelts all. Even better. Well done. Even better. Well done. There we go. All right. Next up, we've got Justin H. Justin H. Also, <laughs> two point back, back, back. Oh my gosh, you're kidding me. No. Okay. So there you go. They've so got we've, four points on the season. We've, we've had a little bit of that that two point score. Oh, there oh, we go. Oh, okay. here we go. They're looking really good. And so there that, we go. The, the Han Edge, too. Yep. Big metal energy. The Dwebble, the Horsey, the Joltik, the Dondozo, the Veluza. Man, water types kind of showing I up. No. Technical Machine Blindside, the Masquerade will not score. Oh, oh the, the Joltik <gasps> will. And is it? It's a <gasps> it's a double to four times multiplier. Oh, yay. Oh my gosh, you're right. Four times multiplier. And then the Glycopod. So let's see what number 196 does for us. Oh man, so we have a critical hit and a multiplier. Multiplier. This is a 4x. Let's see, there's nothing else crazy happening, right? I okay, yeah, so. so the Joel Tick is gonna come in. It's an illustration rare. $4.35 will round up to five. Five, six, seven times four is a 28 point pack! That's amazing! Man, that is amazing. Out of nowhere, up to 32 points. Does that mess with the leaderboard at all? Let's see, 30. No, not quite. Oh, man. Edges out Alex just ever so slightly for about about 10th, 11th place. Yeah. So um, doesn't look like it, but still a, a fantastic showing. Very impressive. Very just fun. A, a very adorable little Joel Tick that you now right. get to uh, get to enjoy. And as ever, you know, frame it, take a picture of it, you know, send the picture of the framed picture to us and you know we'll we'll share it here on the show if you feel like it. But enjoy the <laughs> if the, enjoy the Joel tick either which way. That was fun. That was a good one. Man, I love it when we get the, the four times. Alright, next up we have Jace Jacob hey. Worginus. <laughs> We're, we're genus, we're genus. Yeah, like the spirit, like the like spirit. The spirit. Nah, yeah, okay, we do it every time. The, the, I know. The, the viewers at this point know. They're they like, know. Okay, they're like, it's we're genus. Come on, guys. Dude. We're doing our best over here, we're doing right. our best. Well, we're genus. They, we're genus has got six points. Six points, okay, let's go. see what they can do. Man, that was a fun one. Uh, the Surskit, Wismer, Flamigo, Porygon, Medico, Iron, Gliscor, Technoradar, Cloth, and and the Oxus is no. just one point. Just 1.7 on the season? Boo! You hate to see it. Oh, I'm so sorry, Jacob. I'm not booing you, Virginus. I'm, I'm uh, booing the pack. The pack. The yeah. pack The pack let everyone you down. Great. You did You did exactly yeah. what you were supposed to. Yeah. 
All right, next up we've got John Smith. John Smith! He's got some back-to-back -back six point packs for a total of 12 this season. Boy, double sixes, that's interesting. All right. That's that's... It. So they want an eight point pack here, I suppose. All right, so we got the the Dark Teardrop, the Tinkatuff, the Trubbish, the Crustle, oh, the, the Onyxal Score, there we go, the Gorgeist, Professor Seda's Vitality, Tatsugiri, the Semi Poor will not score, the Semi Seer will also not score, and the Evil again. again. It's everywhere. So just two just points on two that pack back. there. 14 on the season. For John Smith, there we go. Oh, everybody, no. everybody enjoy their Eveltals. I know, come on. We got Eveltals for everyone. All right, next up is Aaron and Tony. Aaron. who have eight point pack backs to backs. Oh my gosh, that's that's so, more unusual. I know, that is weird to get double eights. That's crazy. So let's see, can we go triple eights for 24 points? That wouldn't really get you very far. Trip but eights. Trip eights, yeah. That would be fun. Yeah, but yeah, if you yeah. get four points, that's gonna be better for you, because then you'll be a big Steve. I think it's been a high scoring season overall. It's like the fact that 24 points doesn't even put you like, you know, in, in the race really. I know, not even messing with the leaderboard. Curse Duster, Orbital, Cloth, Pantsier, Blindside, Gold oh, Deal! Yeah, so nice. that one's so fun. And it's metal, that's so fun. Okay, 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 let's see what so we got those here. those two, that's gonna be just an extra point on top, plus whatever that is. Right, number let's two, see. 231. Go ahead and sleeve that for you while Ben looks it up. Let's right, see, 231 is our go. second one of the season at least. Mm. It's going to come in at $11.16, so right up to 12, 12 13, 13, 14. Correct, yes, yes, exactly. Yep, you got it. 14, so we were looking for four points. We landed with 14 points. Um, that is going to put us at, what, 40? 40? Okay, so no. that might... No. no, I'm sorry. 30. 30, okay. I was like, okay, that does change things. Okay. 30 points. So uh, that's okay, going to tie with Jazzy J Truther, who mm. for a good hot second there, I believe if I'm getting my, my line math right, um, was holding on to the quality 8th place spot, but has now tickered down, I believe, into like uh, that 11th, 12th position. Mm. Oh well, all right. Oh, here we go. Our uh, rookie phenom this season, Kyle! Kyle! Is back on the uh, chopping block. They've got 40 points coming into the day. Interestingly, so. Kyle's on the other end of the spectrum where because Kyle's already on top of the leaderboard, it would take a significant amount to cause any major change. You would need 62 points to That's true. Like to take Even if he changes his own position, it doesn't knock Dola down because he's already ahead of Dola. Or Mott's Or Mott's Yeah, Mott's, yeah. yeah. So let's see, all, all Kyle can really hope for here to have any sort of meaningful impact on the game is about a 62 point pack. That's what we're looking which for. Which would otherwise be the second best pack of the season. Yes, yes so indeed. So let's see, we've got the dark teardrop. So okay, so no we'll have multiplier, a multiplier unless we get a critical hit in here. Yep. Magby, Vanillite, or Corio. Uh, Future Booster, Simi Sage, Norman, Gorgeist does not score. Zation will score. Oh, oh nice. So just a man. three point pack, it looks like. Yeah, kind of burn, burned out some of all that uh, that early luck. That energy, close yeah. out with, with three points. 43. So. That will put you ahead of the Blue Suede. Right? The Blue Suede. Blue yeah, Suede, yes. Yeah. Um, so, Just, I mean, for, for bragging rights, I suppose. <laughs> which, I, which, I mean, that, that does make a tiny bit of difference, less to the overall thing, yeah. but our prediction at some point in time, like, what would it, what would happen if somehow the blue suite ended up in eight? You're right, you know, so, well, I guess this does change it because now, as those guys get potentially pushed down, now one of them is in a better or worse position for, for eighth place. Eight. Yeah, yeah, yeah so that's true. That, that has swapped. So it, our, uh, our, our blue suede prediction. Swede. Swede, gosh. Our blue Swede, will they end up in eighth place? They did get one closer as of that pack. So. Okay, there we go. There's there we go. <laughs> ah, all right, next up we have Kevin, who's coming in with back-to-back uh, -back three point packs. People have been very consistent this season. People have been, What's people going have on? been indeed. I know, it's amazing. All right, so they've got six coming in. They're gonna need something massive. All right, let's see. But what, so is everyone. But so is everyone. We got the raucous pummeling. Would have been good this last week, but this week means nothing. The Loudred, the Remoraid, the Pumpkaboo, the Zubat. We're looking for the Crobat. Yep. The Crocolore, the Technical Machine Evolution, the Vanillux, the Porygon will not score. The Tinkatink -tink will not score. Oh, oh but the, the Gold Dango. Dango. Well, there we go. That one's fun. Yeah. The second so. Gold Dango of the back. So you know what? I feel like in the, we've had a couple of things where we've pulled like 
multiple versions of the same card, so maybe the big gold Goldango's in here again. Didn't we also get a Roaring Moon in this this box as well? Oh, did we? Yeah, we did. Oh, it was the regular oh, you're right. One. Yeah. yeah, we got the base one. Yeah, so... Oh, I mean, maybe something's it, lurking. I know, and either which way, the Goldango's still still not bad, bad pull. $8.14, oh, wow. so rounds so up to 9. 9, plus it's metal, so 10. So 10. Here we go, and So what does that do? That is going to, let me make sure so there's nothing else 16 in there. 16 points overall? 16 total, yeah, so okay. not quite a podium spot, but big but a, points. But a great pull either which yeah. way, yeah, which is, you know, like from, from our perspective, we want you guys to end up in walking away with good cards or good contention to score. Yes. You know, so uh, that's 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 our objective. Yes, all right, next up we have Sailor Earth. Sailor Earth! Yes, who is coming in with seven points on the day, so they're looking for 13 points here. Okay. At least, at least. At least, yeah, to be yeah. In, in best spot, although still, it still will be, Lauren B's got that uh, already sitting there pretty. Right, the, so. Big Steve Award. Oh, the, the Orthrum, Orthrum will score. score. The Absol, the Simi Seer, the Chi Yu will score. The Whimsor. Oh, nope. Sorry, I thought we had a critical hit there. And the Top of Coco. There we go. That's fun. There we go. Looks Number like bulk EX, but. Got to check for safety. Number 68 on the set. 63 cents. Indeed. So it's going to so be a three point one, pack. Three point pack. But. going to bring you up to 10 on the season for Sailor Earth. You got a sleeved card anyway, so there enjoy that. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, next up we have got Andriana. Andriana. You know, I want to say, uh, just knocked off Blood Vamp last episode. Oh yeah, poor yeah. Blood Vamp. Just really, I mean, was, so she's was, already got one victory under her belt this season. Uh, she's got 19 points. Oh, 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 just wants one. I even made a note. Wants, wants one, one point, point for Big, Big Steve. Steve. All right, let's see it. All right. One point pack, hopefully. Right, so Flittle, Nicket, yep. Knackley, Nimble, Dondozo, Tulip, doing good, Veluza. To, oh, double checking, nope. right? Yeah, yeah all, all good there. Toad School, the Lie Pard, and the, the Borgon Z! Oh and that is the one you want! That is the one you want. Because so you want to be just barely ahead of Steven. Yes, so the right. person, yeah, so this is one of those where it can go in, in different directions based on where you are in the standings. Right. But this is a case where you want the lowest version of 20 points when it comes to total rare card value. Right, because you want to be the person directly in front of Steven, whereas for 8th place, if it's a tie, you want the highest card value because that will actually put you in 8th place. In 8th place, exactly. Yeah. Exactly correct. Okay, so... Man, Andriana might be having quite a season here. Could be having quite a season. Has taken down their, their rival, Blood Vamp, and potentially laid stake against Lauren B. I know. For the, the big the, season. And if I'm looking at it here, we're going to have to look at her second episode because she scored 18 points right there, but in episode, her first pack of the season was only eight cents. I mean, no, the Porygon's only worth five, so she's got 13 cents plus something from pack two. I know, yeah, I'm That's so looking. curious. I wonder where is, where? so let's see, like, Lauren B, what does she had? So she's had three, three, and 14 points mm, to get to her 20. Right, so her 14 could be smaller. Hard to say where those threes come from. It feels like it might be, like, chase cards and stuff in there. It could be indeed. And so it's all yeah. total rare card value at this point in time. So the rest of the cards, the rest of the multipliers, any of those other points, they don't count for anything. It's just a Just rare cards. Exactly. Right. So. Precisely. Hmm. Okay. Well, who's next? All right. Well, next up, we've got Jacob C. I'm going to give that a clap for technical reasons. There we go. Here we Jacob go. C. Jacob C coming in with the two-point packs back to back. I think, is it you? Oh, maybe it's uh, you. Maybe, maybe it's go me. Right, go right ahead. I maybe feel like I'm catching up. Maybe I'm taking over back. your your tact of. Yeah, you just oh, you just overdrawing. I know overdrawing. Yeah, yeah. Right. my bad, my bad. Cool. All right, let's see. Jacob C has got four points. Let's see. I, put, I went from the back. You have the backpack here. So the backpack. Say this this could have closed this out, or it could could be right here. It could be right now. Jolt, the Cloud, Remora, Minier, Dondozo, Veluza. We've had so many Veluzas. We have. The yeah. glass score will not score. Oh, the Slither. Wait, look at that. Wow. wow. Now that is that a is, pretty I darn card. I love the yeah. artwork, if nothing else. And then the Chen Pao will also score. All right, let's look into it. What is the number on that number? Two o three. There we set. go. Let's see, $4.15 for the Slither Wing, so that goes up to five, plus one for the Chien Pao. No types to consider, yeah, so six points. There we go, okay, six points. There we go, that does the 226 again, the, the classic the, pattern. The 226. For, for 10 points on the season. There we go. And but man, you get that Slither Wing, that's just, so cool. Just a cool looking, I don't, I don't even know why this is called a Slither Wing, like based on its appearance, but I like it. It's So Volcarona is the Pokemon, it's the ancient version of Volcarona. Okay. So like Volcarona flies around and this thing I guess just like crawls on the ground. Okay, but know. it's got maybe, wings maybe? Yeah, it has, those are its wings usually. So maybe it's Slithers, yeah. Yeah, so to speak, that. but also is, is winged, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. and then there's Iron Moth which is the future version 
a Volcarona. Okay. But Volcarona is still the coolest one, despite getting two new forms. Whatever. Um, next up is Hannah! Hannah! From Toy Story. From Toy Story, exactly. Sid's sister. Oh, Hannah! All right, next up is, is it, so yeah, sorry. Hannah has seven points so far, so looking for a 13 point pack, although it's getting tight now for Big Steve. It is indeed. All right, so we got the Teardrop Energy, the Yamask, the Spinda, the Tinkatink, the Tandem Mouse. Man, a whole bunch of. I uh, know. Yeah. Like, are those all the same Pokemon? The, yeah, and it's also purple, white, purple, white. Yeah. Uh, we got the Chantal, the Garboder, the Future Booster. Oh, oh, critical oh, hit! Critical hit, there we go on those two. The Surf Kit will not score, and the Melodic. Oh, what a bummer. So just a <laughs> two point. Two point critical hit? Man. Uh, so that's the thing though. It's like if anybody's ever like, man, the critical hits OP. It's like, that's an example of where it's like, it really, it really didn't deliver a whole lot for us. So well, there you go. Nine points on the season there for um, Hannah. Oh, oh, Hannah. All right. Next up, we've got Annika. All right, Annika. Looking for, looking for something pretty big here. Only got three points. They want 17, but let's see if they got seven. I mean, this could be a last place person too. They could have a four, four it, point it last could, place. It could be a four point last place, or it could be the Roaring Moon and just be, and just, uh, yeah. and be the winner. Yeah, be, be the, the champion. Yeah. So I'll blue, so let's see. Uh, lots of lots of things to look for here. Gligar, Cyclozar, Toad Scroll, Slitherwing, boring version. Little, oh, the Crobat will, will score, score though. Oh, and the Wochian. Wochian. So that's that's going to push it out of last that place. That Crobat is trolling, man. I know, because we haven't really seen it that much today. Like, it hasn't no, been really super haven't. prominent. Man, look how badly cut this grass energy Ugh, is. It's just gross. atrocious. Anyway, in case you guys are ever wondering why certain cards have higher... Uh, uh, ratings when they've been graded that can that can be a part of it. That's a, the centering the centering. Yeah. yeah All right next up. We've got Xander Xander who has got five points coming into the day uh, And I'm can, can what? Pl plays guitar flute piano and speaks Japanese and Chinese so wow yeah. very very uh, is that poly polyglot poly when you speak multiple languages mm, you know that term I know, I, okay. yeah. Some, something in Sounds, there. Sounds, uh, it's tickling a part of my brain, but <laughs> right. I, don't, I don't want to commit. Right, yeah, there we go. We got the Dwebble, we got the Whimsor, the Dew Blade, Blade will score. score, the Sir Skit, the Scream Tail, the Iron Bundle, the, the Ferrothorn Ferrothorn will score. score, the Char Cadet will not score, the Gimme Ghoul will not score, and the Morpeko will. will. So, three points? Three points! There we go. That's going to be an eight point season. That was the weirdest eight I've ever drawn. <laughs> 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 Done a lot of math. Just that was the weirdest thing. That was the weirdest thing. Yeah. Like, never came together like that before. All right, uh, next up is Narwhal King. Narwhal. Uh, who has got a uh, two point pack back to back coming in, so probably a, a six, I guess. Yeah, probably yeah. a six on an inbound. Yeah, let's see. Oh my gosh, open the pack. Whew, my fingers are losing it, you guys. All right, eyeball energy, nimble, elegant, vanilla. Oh, the onyx, onyx, right? Oh, the yep. onyx will score. As will the crobat. There Look at go. that. Yep. So that I haven't seen much up. of either of them, and then they come together. Zebstrika, mine, and so many electric cards, and the Mewtwo. Oh, the Mewtwo. That's kind of there fun. You go. That's a different one. Yeah, Number Mewtwo 58. Elux. Coming in. Let's see. Do, 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 do. We have pulled one before. Um, dollar forty. So the round up to two. Okay. One. The two, three, four. Four points. Four points right there. Either which way though, you get a sleeved card, which is always exciting. Why is the Mewtwo? Oh, is it because it's terrestrialized? Terrestrialized. Terrestrialized. Yeah. That's why it's electric and not psychic. Got cards. it. Got it. Got it. Yep. 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 All right, All right, next up we've got Brick Frog. Brick Frog. Yeah, is the Roaring Moon still in here? I mean, it just needs to be. <clears throat> it I, does I need really to be. Want. What was the other one that was the Goldango? The Goldango could be in here, yeah, yeah. Or that Alt Art Magikarp that we still never yeah, got. No, from Obsidian <laughs> Flames. It's not even oh in the set. <laughs> That'd be a wild pull. All right, Brick Frog. For whatever reason, and I may make oh. this joke every time, Brick Frog always reminds me of what is it? Crazy, Crazy Frog? Frog? Axel F. Axel F. Yeah. yeah. Like, I always think of. That's, Axel, yeah, yeah. That, that's the Brick Frog. The Brick Frog. Right. This is this a is Crazy, crazy Frog. frog. All right, it's so got the Pampor, the Blitzel, the Boon Suite, the Wugtria, the Techno Radar, the Steeny, the Ella Kid will not score, the Mill Tank will not score, and the, the Garnack. Gar oh no, it's just a two point multiplier? Just two points. Boring. Not what you want. Not what you Man, want to see, but that's sorry, okay. Brick frog. Yeah, you got a Mill Tank either way, so take solace in that. Right? What a, what a fun, what a fun mod. There you go, that's a 10 point uh, season. We've got two people, no, three contestants left on the day. Next okay. up is Alicia May, aka Spider Man. AKA Spider Man, yeah, in the alternate universe where it's Aunt May. That's right. Which has got to be at least one of them. Has to be! She's so nearby. It's just all like, the time. you don't even have to include it in like a, in a cinematic universe, but I would just watch that movie. Right. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like they have the entire Spider Verse movie. It's never Aunt May, but it is in this movie. It is in this movie. Yeah. Yep, yep. All right, here we go. Oh boy! 
Okay, okay. Let's see. Can Aunt May defy the odds? Blip bug, Fue Coco, the Hard Edge looks good, go. the Dwebble, the Technium Machine, the Exploud, the Mila, the Mind Fu, the Steeny, nope, and the, the Feeble. Feeble. No, boring. Man, Just right. four points, four right? Four points after yeah. the multiplier. That's going to be 11 you on did, the season. You did your best, Aunt May. And mm. you know what? I mean, I'm sure you took your eye off the ball because you were, mm. you were keeping it on crime. Exactly, you know, out there saving people's lives. Saving people's lives. We appreciate you. All right, next for your, up for your service. We've got Afropunk with 13 points. Okay, okay, so 13 is a great position to be in. We, you know, with uh, just a, a seven, you know, would, would potentially yeah. put you in it. What? Are, what? How are those scores made? So a 10 and a three. 10 and a three. Yeah. Okay. Mm, maybe. Okay. So we'll see. We'll see. All right. So we got the teardrop. We got the toxel, the Lipard, the Wimpod, the Elekid, the Orthworm, the Mien Shao, the Rika, the Remoraid will not score. The Gabite will not score, and the Espathra. So just two. Just two. Only oh my getting gosh. to 15. No one else has really been able to climb up to 20 there. Not so much. We're on our last pack of the day. Fingers and, crossed for something for special. Uh, Lando Mando. Lando Mando. Lando. They've got they've got twelve points. So twelve points, another okay. another contender who could land eight points. Go for Big Steve. Yes, indeed. And it looks like at least their very first pack of the season was only worth eight cents. So again, if this was a twenty point pack, it'd be a good contender. Right. But obviously, we've got to, we got to determine whether or not it's an eight point pack first. So water, Tinka Tink, Charcadet. Little Trubbish, Semipore, Zeb Strike, a Luxurious Cape, Sea King, Vanillite, and the Chi Yu. So it's okay, actually so just a one point pack. Yep, yeah, so that doesn't do us anything super special. Does it? My, my, my mind immediately still went to like, oh, okay, that's kind of low value, so that's great. Yeah, like, oh, wait, no. wait, wait, that was wait. only with eight points, so yes, it was another eight. Either way, though, enjoy your Chi Yu. That, that seems like a, just a fun card to go, just like put in your wallet, carry with you everywhere. All right, New well, good luck charm. Carly survives another round. Another round, two more and left to go. Oh, this two month. boxes left. Here We're, we go. We'll see. We'll see. But guys, as ever, thank you so much for tuning into this week's episode of Carlin Brothers Box Breakers, or as we like to call it, CB Cubed. If you too would like to see us open a pack for you over here on the show, you can do so by heading over to patreon.com slash supercarlingaming and selecting any of the Box Breakers tiers. Otherwise, until next time, Hariyama! Hariyama!